Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is the inertia hat. So I had a, another subscriber that um, I subscribed to, and they subscribed to me. He's out of Lebanon. It's Ara Mali's Adventures for All Kids, right? Um, if you look in the description, I'll show you where you should go there. Check out his channel. It's really cool. So he asked me to do a collaboration video with him on the inertia hat, right? He calls it the science hat. Um, the inertia hat, which is basically just a coat hanger that we'll put together um, and with two tennis balls, and then it's Newton's first law. So I'm going to show you his video, his experiment, my experiment, and uh, how to make that experiment afterwards next. So what you need for this experiment is a wire coat hanger, two tennis balls or two objects, and a volunteer. Please remember to click that subscribe button and thumbs up. It does help our channel. Thank you. Hello, kids from Science. So we are on a Mali's adventure with Rome, Rome, Lebanon. And we are happy to do this uh, collaboration <laughs> with you. Now, today, we're going to learn about Newton's first law of motion with uh, science hats. Okay, let's go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we have made a very interesting science hat. The figures. Yes, four way with Bigger. four balls, and we're gonna test this yes. hat. Okay, yeah. but we're gonna use uh, something in order to protect my hat, my hat because of the metal will be uh, very hard, very yes. tough. Yeah. Heavy. Okay. Wow, cool. This is funny. Now, what does Newton's first law of motion say? Say. It says that any object at rest will remain at rest yes. unless an external force is applied to it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna rotate, and we can see if this hat will stay at uh, at rest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you see the hat stayed? It did not rotate. Yeah. As I rotate. Yeah. Right? And now I'm going to apply a force and it will rotate. This means that when we apply a force to the hat, it is rotating. Yes. Just like Newton stated. Okay, now let me try again. The hat is at rest. The hat is at rest. And we are not applying any force on it. Okay, let me balance it. Yeah. Wow! And it didn't rotate. Yeah. Some small motion uh, to the head because of the imbalance of the uh, system. Okay? Yeah, yeah say bye. Bye! bye. bye. So here's my experiment with the inertia hat. So for Newton's first law, be patient. It does take time to form it and get it exactly to work, but it's well worth it once you get it done. So once you put it up, you have to balance it on your head. Make sure you get to that right point. And you'll notice that an object at rest will stay at rest. And then a object in motion will stay in motion, right? So until the friction from the hanger on top of my head and then it eventually will come to a stop. But uh, that is pretty cool. So if we take it here and then we put it at rest and I move my body around, an object should stay. <laughs> you gotta keep it balanced on your head, uh, which isn't at times the easiest. Uh, put it right here and object at rest. Should stay at rest, right? So it does move a little bit because I'm wobbling back and forth, but it pretty much does stay at rest when you do the spin, um, and it doesn't rotate with you, right? So you can spin around, and it stays at rest. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, um, please get into motion and click that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.
So for the setup, um, you're going to take a wire cord hanger and you're going to unravel it. Be careful, one end is sharp. And you're just going to basically straighten it all the way out. Now if you don't have a wire coat hanger, you need about 41 inches or 104 um, centimeters of wire, of thick wire. So once you get that completely stretched out, you're going to try to get the exact middle and fold it over just like that in the middle. And then from there, you're going to make like an M. So you're going to curve down each side and try to keep them even as possible. Mine's a little bit off. And from there, you can add a little bit of tweaking. Um, you have to be able to uh, pull it in and out to try to get it straightened up a little bit. Just kind of bend the wire back and forth. It's a little bit of an art and have a little bit of a patience. After that, you're going to, you're going to take a little like a uh, box cutter, uh, poke a little hole in it and insert your ends for each uh, with a tennis ball for of each of the coat hangers. So once you cut your hanger out and you get it all set up, part of, the, I, I think the hardest part is to get it to balance so it's straight up and down. And so you want to be able to, I, the way I test it instead of on top of my head is on my finger. And you can see it's kind of set, angled, that's okay. You could always just tweak it just bend it in a little bit and, you know, getting the right uh, way so it could balance, right? So that's pretty much the hardest part. But when So this is a smaller version um, of Newton's first law. Uh, uh, object is at rest, stays at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion. So here I just got it on top of a water bottle, just a thinner wire so you don't need a coat hanger, and then I printed out a couple airplanes and then hot glued them to the bottom. So as you can see, you push it, an object in motion will stay in motion until the friction of the wire and the top of the cap slowly will stop it. But this actually goes a lot longer than you on top of your head because there's less friction, so it will go a long ways. So here's an object in rest, will stay at rest, and if you look at the three colors, the green, the black, and the red, I'm spinning the bottle, right? But the two objects, the plane, are at rest, so they're staying, they do not move as I spin the bottle just like I did when I moved around with my head, but there's a lot more friction. So uh, this personally is one of my favorites. I love doing this one uh, as Newton's first law. And remember when you hot glue uh, the airplanes onto the wire, make sure the wire runs all the way to the bottom of the planes and um, make sure the planes are facing the opposite direction. So I just made a little loop there um, and you hot glue it on the bottom and uh, make sure the planes are facing, otherwise you have one go the opposite direction. And thanks for watching.